Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday. You guys are watching this on Thursday and it's pretty chill. So um, we're gonna keep it casual today. I am just going to get ready. I'm just going to like lunch with a friend and like we're just gonna walk around Winter Park. So keep your eyes open and have those post notifications on for when that vlog comes out. It's probably gonna come out Saturday. So anyway, I am just getting all my stuff out. I will mention what I use, but I feel like I do that every time. So sorry if it's repetitive. Um, so yeah, just cleared out the makeup bag and now we are going to get ready. So I have a list on my phone here because I hate not knowing what to talk about because I kind of treat these videos like podcasts. So, cause I don't have a podcast. Uh, so I just kind of treat this channel or these types of videos. Well, pretty much my whole channel as like a podcast. So speaking about podcasts, this wasn't on my list of like things I want to talk about, but I've been loving like Gretchen Garrity. I hope that's the way you say her name, but I really like her. I don't know why. I feel like her energy is just like cool. And I mean, she's just like full of like positivity, which I really appreciate and I really like. I've been listening to her podcast like all the time in the car. Cause as you guys know, I'm not like the biggest music person. Like I am, but I'm not. Is that weird? I don't know. I never listen to music like while I work. Sometimes I do, like I have to be in the mood, you know, um, to like listen to music while doing anything. So definitely not the biggest music person though. So I, I don't know. I've just not been in the mood to listen to music in the car. So I've been listening to podcasts and I've just been like binge listening to Gretchen's and if I weren't filming this video, I'd be listening to her podcast now. I love her podcast. That's basically what I wanted to come on and say. So anyway, sometimes I feel like I've missed some spots. Oh, I forgot to say what this was. <laughs> this is just the Tarte Shape Tape um, Concealer. Shape Tape Concealer in shade 205, a light sand. I don't know, the girl was like, oh, sometimes I like it to be like brighter than my skin. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I just like went along with it. Also too guys, I love, love, love get ready with me videos because I listen to those when I get ready. Isn't that like kind of silly? So again, if I wasn't like filming this video, I would be like listening to a get ready with me because I don't know, it's almost like you're getting ready with someone, but like you're not, but you still have like something to listen to. So I don't know, it's just, one of those things. So I think we were pretty much good on the concealer. Um, luckily I don't have any like huge, huge breakouts. Sometimes I have them on my chin, which I missed like covering this one up. Just a little dab here. Um, yeah, I don't have that many blemishes, thank goodness. Cause I hate it when I get those. It's so annoying. Um, so next up, is foundation and the foundation I use is the NARS like oh natural radiant long wear and I love this foundation I don't think I'm gonna change it because it doesn't smell makeup y does that make sense like I don't know um I used MAC for dance for like the longest time and I didn't like the way it smelled and this is very light like not light as in like the color, but it's very light on your skin. Like sometimes I don't even feel like or remember I have makeup on because it doesn't have strong scent and it doesn't have, it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a ton of makeup. Um, and I'm in the shade Punjab, I think M1, I don't know. Yeah, it's very light and airy and I really, really like that about it because um, I find makeup to be very uncomfortable and that's why I didn't wear it for the longest time. I was like not about it because like I'm all about comfort really. So I never wanted to wear makeup nor did I. And I don't think you should ever like, if you don't feel like wearing makeup, don't wear makeup. Cause that's kind of like how I live my life and opinion. Like if I don't feel like it, like just don't do it. It's not like the end of the world. Um, if you wear makeup or don't wear makeup because I didn't wear makeup for the longest time and sometimes I still don't. So 
it's fine. It does not matter. Unless like you feel less confident, like you should always do what makes you feel the most confident, you know? Cause life's too short. So do what makes you happy and what you wanna do. Cause in the end, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's kind of what I've learned, so. All right, let's get into the first topic. And again, I'm holding up my handy dandy phone because I need to go to my notes and look for it. So here we go. Okay, guys, like I started a blog. So um, if you want to check it out, it'll, it'll be the first link of this video and um, the reason why I started a blog, like that's what I wanted to talk about um, in the first section. So why I started a blog, I wanted a place on the internet that was like mine, that like I controlled, I could share things. So I saw online somewhere, and I talk about this in my first blog post, but I'll just talk about it here like briefly. Um, I saw somewhere where, you know how like uh, Instagram went down? for a while, it was like six hours. Well, during that time I saw somewhere, or after that time I should say, I saw somewhere where someone said, you never know when all of these like social media accounts and stuff can just like vanish or not work or anything. So you need a place online that like you own, that you control and everything. And I was like, you know what? That's right. Like I do need some place to um, like call my own, you know, if that makes sense. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just make it to like warehouse all of my, um, oh, I do have a little blemish. I forgot what I was saying. Shoot, man. Well, anyway, um, it made me really think. I didn't start my blog like right after I saw that. It just like, you know, got the wheels of the idea turning in my head that I needed a place on the internet that was mine. And I realized that like my link in my bio was a link tree link, but like all my links. So I was like, why am I sending all of like the people that care to click that link to link tree, which is not owned by me. Like I could make my own, you know, website and have it be like mine, but also have all my links. So that's when um, I started looking for domains and I had looked for domains in the past, like alexjane.com and I just like couldn't find anything. So nothing like I did get alexjane.co but nothing was like alexjane.com because I guess someone had already purchased that. Okay, done with foundation. I don't know, I like to make sure it's like nicely blended. I like take a long time on the foundation. This is like the part that takes me the longest just because I like to make sure it's like all blended and like looks good. The second most time consuming thing is the eyebrows and I'm still not like that good at it, but it's fine. Um, next up we have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So it just looks like this. Um, this stuff is like so messy at times. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so the main reason why I hadn't like started a website in like a while, like it took me so long is number one, cause like I didn't see the importance nor did I want to pay um, like the money. Cause again, you it like costs money to like have a domain and then have the actual site, like, you know, powered by Squarespace or powered by I use WordPress just because, you know, I had started out with that. Um, so I didn't want to like spend the money on that because I already own alexblankenship.com for like my portfolio stuff. If you want to check it out, you can. Like, it's not like a huge secret of a website or anything. I just don't promote it because again, it's like, it's kind of out of date anyway. So um, I already paid for that and I didn't want to like pay for another one, but when it boiled down to it, I'm like, okay, fine. Alexjane.co will do and I'll own something and I'll pay for it. It wasn't that expensive either. Um, and like my template for the actual website was not that um, expensive either. Cause it was like one of the basic, basic ones. So overall, like it wasn't that bad, like getting it all like set up and everything. 
Okay, done with powder. I swear that's so messy. Um, next up, we have the Hoola bronzer. This I've had for a long, long time and I still have product, so we don't use it. I use the Hoola bronzer for my eyes as well as um, like just normal contouring the face. So you'll see that. This is a side note, but like I don't have anywhere to like do my makeup that's like really good. This is the best place, so sorry. Um, I could do it in my bathroom, but like, I don't know. I feel like this is like better uh, sit down video vibes rather than like standing up in my bathroom with those bright lights. So I get my website and like I set it up and everything and it's like all good. I wasn't planning on like writing, but then there's like topics that like I want to share but it's just like something I would never talk about on YouTube because I don't know it's just like not not that it's not appropriate like it still happens in my life like my feelings about like friends and stuff but I don't know I just that sort of stuff is just stuff I want to write about you know I want to have a safe space a safe space that sounds so silly um I want to just have a space that like is mine and like I still have like it's for the people that like really care, you know, like the people that like really want to know my thoughts and feelings. Um, cause I get like not everyone wants to like hear about certain things on YouTube, um, and everything. So again, it's fine. Um, but it's just like a safe space for me to like write and talk about things that I typically would never ever like talk about on YouTube and would just be like hard topics for me to talk about like in person. So um, if you guys want to check it out, you can check it out. Um, those blog posts I'm saying. So that's the real reason why I started a blog because I wanted to direct people to like something that I own rather than another company and probably like another multi-millionaire. So you can visit my website and get all my links there. I also wanted to talk about losing subscribers. I swear, this always happens on YouTube. If you've been on YouTube for a while, like you know, you, you're gonna have your ups and your downs. And I guess like right now I'm in a down. I would say it's okay, but it like, you know, it makes any content creator like kind of like, come on, man. And I get like, a lot of people just want to see my adoption videos and I get that, but I'll probably make a video about why I don't make a lot of adoption videos because I swear, like, I feel like my channel would do a lot better if I did make those, make that video, um, make more adoption videos, but like, I don't want to, you know? So, um, I'll probably make a whole video on that, but as a content creator and stuff, you're gonna always like go through these patches of like, you know, sometimes your channel's like on fire and then another times you're like losing and you know, it's okay. That's part of the game with social media. And if I wanted to be like super exploitative, I could in a sense, but I don't know. Again, this is something that I just like genuinely love and like I'm still that girl that is just, you know, in her head trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Like it still is mind blowing that I had a video do so well and it's like amazing and it's like really, really nice. Yeah, let's just say it started off as a very, very humble beginning because I never really got like huge, huge amounts of views. Um, and I still don't really. So uh, I just wanted to touch on that a little bit because it's just like kind of annoying sometimes. And that's okay to feel like that, you know? Like it happens to every content creator, influencer, whatever you wanna, YouTuber, whatever you wanna say it. The next thing I wanted to talk about, I swear sometimes, sorry I'm looking in the viewfinder, I always look in the viewfinder, but anyway, I'm like really, really, because um, it's hard to see like the eyes, like making sure they're like kinda even, even though my eyes are like totally not even. So I wanted to talk about quickly inventing Anna and I really like that story because I find it so intriguing um, and the way that she like swindled everyone. Honestly, I think she's quite talented and in my opinion, I just think that, you know, some people need to be knocked down a peg. Like, you know, if you're a hot shot, if you're big shit somewhere, like 
I don't know. It's kind of funny that they, like, actually believed her and stuff. So, honestly, my opinion on her, I think she's, like, really talented. And I, I like her. Like, I'm sorry if you don't agree. That's fine. I don't... Again, it's just an opinion. It doesn't really matter um, in the grand scheme of things. I do. I, I like her. But the actual series in itself, if you watch it, the acting is just, like, not there. I don't really like the acting. The Vivian Kent character, I feel like she just doesn't want to have a baby and she's just like moaning half of the time. So that really bothered me. Like I wanted to watch it again, but I'm not going to watch it because I don't like the acting nor like the char like some of the characters. All right. I think we're pretty good. I just need to like blend it a little bit more. So that's my opinion on Inventing Anna. I also watched the um, Tender Swindler. And that was really good too. I think I took this one out a little too far. I'm just like wipe it with my finger. Yeah, so the Tender Swindler was really good too. He was really talented too. Um, these people, man, they are really good at what they do. I do feel bad for the um, the women and everything, but like that's why I'm like so scared to meet someone online. I mean, I know I could have met like a swindler person like that, you know, just like on the street, but still sketches me out. And I feel like I, you would get a better reading on the person if like you did meet them in person first. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, which I'm going to save until blush because I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick because I just need to do my eyebrows and I can't do that talking because it's just too hard. Like I already have a hard time as it is. But before I do that, I will just share what I use. I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. Again, I've had this for forever. And um, yeah, it really is Goof Proof because like I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, I think that is going to be as good as they're going to get. Actually, I feel like they turned out a lot better considering I'm not in a rush. Also, side note, don't you hate it? Like, why is it coming into style to have your eyebrows, like, brushed all the way up like this? I mean, it doesn't look... I guess it looks pretty good, but, like, seriously, why is that a thing now? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm definitely not... I'll, I guess I'll jump on the bandwagon when more people do it. But like, I don't really like that at all. Um, so I will not be doing that just yet. I do feel like the brows though turned out a lot better than when they, when I normally do them because like I'm not in a huge rush nor um, do I feel like I need to get them done like super fast and everything. So I think they turned out okay. Also too, I always find that this one turns out much better than this one. Um, I know they're like kind of different shapes, so it's kind of hard to match, but another reason why that could be is because like I'm right-handed and it's just like easier to do. I guess I could do this in a way. Okay, now I'm just like messing around, but yeah, I don't know. I think they turned out pretty good, so I'm just going to brush them out and there we go. Okay, next up I am going to do my... Um, blush blush um half of the time i don't know this is the nars blush in the shade orgasm um i don't know i just like it it's kind of like glittery pink so just gonna put this on the last and final topic i kind of wanted to talk on is reading like guys you don't understand how much i've always hated reading because like i've always been a slow reader i never knew the main point of the story like it is just so hard man again never good at reading like I hated reading because I wasn't good at it and I never understood what the heck they were trying to say. So, um, but I have read two books this year and it's really nice because I've read them on my own merit. There was only one other book that I, or two in my lifetime that I've ever read on like my own merit of like wanting to read. But I've noticed that like when you actually want to read the book or whatever you're doing or whatever the topic is, you read faster 
and you actually like understand what it's saying, which is so nice. So the first book I read was Full Out by Monica Aldama and she was like on the Netflix series Cheer and I really liked that book. I finished it so fast. And then the next book that I recently finished was My Friend Anna and it was about the Anna Delvey case, the one that the Netflix show was about, Inventing Anna. And it was um, from her friend Rachel's point of view and her own experiences. So I highly recommend those two books. I loved the My Friend Anna one. It was written very maturely. It had good high level vocabulary words and I loved the way it was written. It was very very descriptive. It was almost like I was there like with them like you could totally envision it. I think they're really good and I can't believe I read them because you're looking at someone who does not like reading like I said. So I definitely think you should read one or the other. Um, probably the level of reading of the Monica Cheer one is a lot more less intense or less high. It's not a, as high a level of reading as the My Friend Anna one. So just so you know, putting it out there. I can't believe that, that I read books. <laughs> like that's crazy. Okay, so I also forgot to add and I just first started doing this recently, but I've been putting some blush like on my eyes, like in the middle here. So what I'll do is like just take the brush and like put it here a little bit. It's not very noticeable. Um, like you, you won't be able to really tell it's there, but I've just been doing it just to, you know, give it a little spice. This is kind of just like everyday makeup because I use my eyeshadow palette like when I want to do a more dramatic look, even though all my looks look the same. So, but when I want to have like darker eye makeup, I just use my, um, palette that I've had for forever and it's probably expired but like I'm not about to spend like $50 on a palette because I have all the shades I need like already so uh, it's not the end of the world using an older palette but yeah that's kind of like just like what I've been doing um for my eyes for like my everyday because again I don't really use an eyeshadow palette for like everyday stuff. Next up is lips and I hate lips if I'm being completely honest. Um, I hate having thing, anything on my lips because it's annoying and I always lick my lips and I don't know. But uh, when I don't have to wear lips, I don't wear lips. But since this is a get ready with me, I'm gonna do my lips. Um, if I was going out uh, just to lunch with my friend like today, I probably wouldn't do lips because like we're gonna be eating anyway, so. There's like no reason, but um, I'm gonna do it. My lip products I'm going to be using, and these are like pretty much my only lip products. Um, I do have like red lipstick, and then I do, I think I have like one other nude from MAC. Um, Cause again, I used to always like, that was the only thing I ever used was MAC for dance. So um, I didn't really like branch out or try anything. I do use for like my everyday makeup, I use the Charlotte Tilbury products in Pillow Talk. So this is the lip pencil lip liner. And then I have the, I recently got the lipstick because the like the lip pencil was just hard to like fill my entire lips. So I'm gonna put this on and then that'll be pretty much it for the video. Um, I'll obviously put down my hair so then, you know, we can have a full after look. Gotta put the lips on now. Okay, I think I did a good job lining the lips. Shoot, this camera battery's gonna die. I'm gonna put the lipstick on and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have to go pretty soon, like in two minutes. So I just wanna show you guys my outfit real quick and then I will show you guys my makeup. Here is my makeup and this is the finished product. You guys know, this is just like the classic Alex look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Make sure to comment down below any of your thoughts, feelings on what I talked about, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.